And the thing about vibes and aesthetics with business social media is that they matter for your income potential. I know, shocker, not me dividing everything into three tips. <laughs> we're, we're giving sweatpants. Okay, we can still show up, like we're still here. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking all about aesthetics for your business social media. This is such an exciting topic because I love a good aesthetic. I love just, I love a good vibe. And the thing about vibes and aesthetics with business social media is that they matter for your income potential. And if you don't have your aesthetic together, it really is gonna impact the way that your ideal client views your entire brand. So we're gonna get into all of that today and how you can really just elevate the look and feel of your business to increase your sales potential and income. But before we dive in, if this is your first time here, hi you guys, my name is Emily. I'm a certified health coach and a full-time business mentor for coaches and OSPs. I'm so happy you are here. If you're not subscribed yet, I post educational videos and podcasts for my podcast, The First Million, every single Wednesday, and then educational, um, like entrepreneurial lifestyle vlogs. Not so educational, more just fun, honestly, <laughs> every single Sunday. So make sure you are subscribed, turn the notifications bell on so you know when I post because I do keep that content rolling out. I'm so glad to have you here in the family and all the information on my mentorships, courses, any opportunity that I offer related to business development, it's all linked in the description box down below. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, subscriber, love you the most. I'm so happy you're here. Okay, so I have three really good tips. I know, shocker, not me dividing everything into three tips. <laughs> It's just easy to digest, okay? But I have three really good tangible ways that you can start to elevate the vibe and the look of your business social media, specifically Instagram, but this can apply to really any platform. But first, let's talk about why this is important because I will be the first one to say, and I know I've said it in the past, that the way that your Instagram looks, the way that you just show up visually on social media is not the most important thing. Like you should still feel like you can show up for your business, even if you're in your sweatpants, you don't have makeup on, like guys, look at me today. We're, we're giving sweatpants. Okay. We can still show up like we're still here, but it, it fits the vibe. Okay. And what I mean by that is the look and feel of your social media really is what makes up your brand and your brand and the energy behind that determines what people are willing to spend on your products, right? If everything about your brand is giving like budget, if everything is giving disorganized, scattered, unprofessional, but then you're trying to sell a $6,000 service, people are not gonna be so willing to spend that money. But if the vibe you give off is elevated, it's one of investing or whatever it may be, whatever you're trying to get across in your business, people are then gonna be able to envision themselves spending and investing to the level that you desire. And that's how we create this like cohesive business space. But most of us here, we're not graphic designers. Like we didn't sign up to be uh, an Instagram design guru. We signed up to coach or do whatever our business is. And social media has become like a side effect, a necessary component of bringing that vision to life. So I wanna make this really easy and chat you guys through really how you can develop a look and a feel to your social media without it taking over your life or you having to like do any type of major overhauls on the brand. And just for context, you guys, this is what my Instagram used to look like. This is just my personal Instagram. And this is what it looks like now. And the difference here is very noticeable and it doesn't just come down to, oh, there's a more organized grid. It's the heavier focus on information and value that's blatantly obvious the second you come to my feed. It's a more cohesive and elevated look that aligns with the new pricing of my offers and the new variety of offers that I have. And this is kind of gonna be what I'm coaching you guys towards today. And one little bonus tip that I have for you here at the beginning is before you implement any of these three tips I'm gonna walk you through, you need to be able to identify what your ideal client vibes with, okay? What I mean by that is the easiest way I can describe this. If you are marketing to women, but your marketing is super masculine and super like it's the, just everything about it is masculine and your ideal client is, you know, a, a young mom, let's say that is probably not going to align like the most. Another example that's slightly more specific, if you are doing like kind of spiritual mindset, internal work type coaching, and everything about your brand is very like cut and dry, like clean lines, there is no kind of like spiritual or 
inner work type of visual there, people are not going to at first glance associate you with what you are offering. And that has an impact because visualization and sight, um, for those of us who are sight abled, obviously, is going to have the heaviest impact and the most initial impact on people's opinion of your brand. So keeping in mind your specific ideal client, the brand that you already have or that you're gonna be developing, these are all things to have in your mind as we go through these three tips. So quick little preview of the three areas we're gonna be covering and how you can show up and just like elevate the whole brand and the whole look of your social media with relative ease. Number one is gonna be how you physically show up and embody your brand. So everything from the way that you dress um, to the backgrounds that you're standing in front of, just like the whole way that that you are being present as the face of the brand. Number two is gonna be your video content because especially on platforms like Instagram and TikTok, the way that you show up in moving video where people can really get a sense for like your personality is super important. And it's not just as easy as throwing together a quick like TikTok trend. And then number three is gonna be your grid. So the actual thing that people are seeing when they click on your Instagram account, they see you know a reel maybe that they really loved or a post on your explore page, they go to check you out out, what are they seeing right in front of them? That's super important. And I would say one of the more important parts of this training. So we'll kind of build up to that. Okay. Step one, making your business more aesthetic. How are you showing up? I have had clients who build uh, an embodiment of their brand as far as how they present themselves by purchasing a blazer that's in a bright color that is a strong part of their brand and they are wearing that in all of their video content. Um, there was for the longest time, this girl on TikTok, I don't even remember what her name was, but she her thing was she would just show up for her content always wearing the same pink blazer and her whole brand was very like pink and feminine and it worked, but she presented herself in a way that embodied the brand. So if you've ever been inside any of my master classes or you are connected with me on Instagram and you've heard me talk about like physical elements of confidence, that plays in here as well. Decide how you can show up to embody your brand and continue to do that. Have some consistency in how you show up. For me, I love a strong, powerful neutral. So I stay in like mostly black clothing that can be a little bit edgier sometimes. I love like gold jewelry. You always hear me clinking my rings around, little ASMR for you. <laughs> and so I kind of have my ways of showing up powerfully and it's as simple as the things that I'm wearing, the ways that I accessorize, things of that nature. So whatever that is for you, if you are speaking to an ideal client base, that is a group of like, you know, CEOs and professionals, you may want to show up in more like professional attire that they can relate to right off the bat. Whereas if you are coaching new moms and you're showing up super professional, put together every hair in place all the time, you're not gonna come across as very relatable. So think about brand embodiment and how you physically can show up in your content in a way that is going to capture the attention of your specific ideal client and feel relatable but elevated to them. You guys always see me talking in front of this clothing rack here and I have like a selection of like my neutral blazers, a few things that I really like to wear when I'm doing my coaching that embody my brand. They feel elevated in the way that my ideal client wants to see, but it's like this little capsule wardrobe that's kind of like on brand for my business that I keep right here fun little hack and it makes a good little background too. Okay, next is gonna be the type of video content that you create. This can have a major impact on like the aesthetic of your brand. A great example of this is when I launched the branch of my business, Woods Studio, that's this Instagram here at woodstudio.co. The type of video content that I put out was different than what I share on my at Emily Woods wellness Instagram, which is just my general business coaching Instagram, because I was trying to create that really like exclusive cool girl vibe. Everything was very low light. The music was still trending, but it had a different feel to it. Everything about the video was creating a feeling that aligned with the brand. All this to say, if you want your brand to give off elevated lux, et cetera, and you're doing, you know, goofy TikTok trends with a mess in the background, and it's just like you on video is not giving off the vibe that you're trying to create for your brand, it's gonna throw things off, especially because we have to share so much video content these days. 
Again, if you are trying to embody something that your ideal client wants to see, such as an ideal client base of new moms or of elevated professionals, and everything about your business is 180 degrees different from something that they can relate to, they're not going to relate to it. So think about looking online and scrolling through TikTok, through Instagram reels and finding content, even if it's unrelated to your niche, that relates to your brand. How can you recreate and emulate that same theme to relate more to like your actual messaging? And that's where like you, like real living, breathing you on camera can build out the vibe and aesthetic of your brand. Number three is your grid. Again, we used to have this on my Instagram and now we have this. And my clients have so many examples of this kind of in their own uh, social media platforms. And the idea here is kind of like I was mentioning at the beginning beginning of the video with opportunities like we have through reels and through the explore page, your content has the opportunity to reach a lot of people, but nobody's generally going to follow you just because they see one piece of content. They're going to see that content. They're going to click your little name and they're going to bop on over to your profile. And then at that point, they're going to actually see your content. And this is where it really starts to matter what those first like six ish rows of content look like in your grid, what your profile photo is, what the covers on your highlights look like, what your bio says. Of course, that's super important. Grid design does not mean that it's like alternating one graphic, one photo, like this doesn't have to be anything perfect pattern wise, but it's can an ideal client come to my feed and know exactly what I share, see my most pertinent information kind of pinned and featured at the top of my profile. And is it going to be intoxicating and tempting for them to then give me a follow and look at me as kind of an expert on this topic that they're interested in learning about. So with this in mind and the idea that kind of redesigning your whole grid and creating a whole new look to your social media can be kind of intimidating. It can be time consuming. I'm super excited to announce that I have a new offer dropping through Wood Studio called Instagram Aesthetics. Instagram Aesthetics is going to be a one-time investment offer where I come in and fully audit and upgrade your entire Instagram feed. We're going to look at all the types of graphics that you're using, the photos that you have, the type of content that you put out. And I'm going to provide you with a whole list of deliverables that's going to allow you to to revamp the way that your Instagram looks and keep it going. I will create graphics for you, share photo editing, you know, tips and examples, and give you a ton of customizable design templates to use on your social media so that everything is cohesive and you can spend less time worrying about how to design the look of your grid. I'll give you a package of all of the designs and pieces of the puzzle that you need. And all you have to do is keep creating that content and plugging it in to the designs that I provide. This has been so successful and exciting. I have a client, Sarah, who just had her most successful passive income launch ever because we did a redesign of her grid and of her visual launch materials using Instagram aesthetics, this whole package. And it was so fun to see that come to life. So if you are somebody who is not really in the mood to be in charge of the whole aesthetic elevation of your business and you want some guidance and you want to really feel professional as you pull your elevated brand together or as you start your Instagram for the first time and you really want to put your best foot forward, I would love to guide you through starting that Instagram up or going through a really amazing rebrand to elevate your sales potential and the entire vibe and aesthetic of your business social media. So the opportunity to apply for Instagram aesthetics is going to be linked down below. And you can also check out at woodsstudio.co for all the ways you can get involved with my boutique copywriting and social media design agency. And I am so excited. I already have so many amazing women who have invested into Instagram aesthetics and their businesses are starting to really come to life in a very aesthetic way. So I hope this was helpful. You guys, I hope that if you find trainings like this helpful in general, that you'll subscribe to my channel and anyone who's trying to pull together an elevated aesthetic on their business, social media will apply for Instagram aesthetics. I'd love to chat with you on a consultation and see if this would be a great fit and share some design ideas with you. Thank you all for being here. As always, I believe in you so much. I'm so happy to have you here every single week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.